Hey everyone, please support what I do to help keep Greyhawk alive by subscribing to the channel. Also, please consider becoming a channel member to get early access to videos, exclusive live chats, quarterly adventure modules, and more. Thanks, and enjoy the show. Cell, or Russell, uh, is one of uh, the most interesting places in the Flaness, and I want to talk about it today on Greyhawk Ragnar. So Bissell, or I've also heard it pronounced Bissell, um, like the vacuum cleaner. Either way, as far as I as far as I can tell, either way is is fine. Um, is a uh, nation on the western edge of the Flaness, uh, and basically stands as the bulwark between uh, the Vaclunish West and the rest of the Flaness. Um, it uh, has a history of going from one. Uh, of, of being a vassal of one or another of its neighbors. So, for example, it started off as the northernmost part of um, Kaoland, which is to the south on the on the map that you're looking at. Um, in around the year 400, there was a war between Kaoland and Valuna, um, or Furiandi, um, but, you know, they're kind of tied at the hip. Uh, and and Bissell, uh changed vassalage from Kaoland to Furiandi slash Valuna. Um, and, uh, you know, so that uh, lasted for a while. And then in, um, that lasted for about 40 years. And in 438, it was granted its independence because the uh, the leader of Bissell saved the life of the king of Furion. Okay, so for about the last 130 years, 140 years, uh, it's been independent. Um, Speaking from the perspective of 576, which is when the gold box was was published, so it's got a you know it's got a little bit of independence, but it's also got a history of being bounced around uh, from one ruler to another, and it's uh, organized as a sort of a um, uh, militaristic uh, or uh, society, not quite as bad as the Grand March, uh, Grand March. Uh, but you know, it's 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 definitely not one of your more uh, storybook kind of uh, places in the Flaness. Um, according to my well-worn copy of the guide, um, it uh, but it, but it, uh, there are four regular companies and four reserve companies, each a thousand strong, with horse, foot, and archers. So it's got an army of eight thousand men, which in uh, gray, uh, Greyhawk terms is is fairly uh, large. Um, and, uh, basically its purpose is to protect, uh, the rest of the Flaness from the Backlunish lands, from Backlunish invasion. And the Knights of the Watch have a very heavy presence here because that's also their mandate, right? Is to protect the East from the, the ravenous hordes of the West. And in this, you see a kind of uh, parallel in, uh, in our earth history, uh, with the, um, uh, with the establishment of the marches in Spain and and in the Balkans uh, to protect against the incursions of Muslim invaders and the, the parallels between the Maclunish and and the Muslim uh, caliphates uh, caliphate is is very strong and you see a, a lot of that in this particular setup of, of the cell and um, in game history during the Greyhawk Wars. Uh, uh, First, uh, Bissell sends troops one way, and then it sends troops another way, and then it is invaded by Ket. Uh, Ket is the easternmost of the Backlunish lands, so it's got a lot of um, uh, Iridian uh, influence, you know, uh, eastern influence in it, uh, but it is solidly still counted as part of the Backlunish culture of Backlunish nations. And it invades and conquers Bissell. So... Um, for quite a number of years thereafter, we we see um, uh, them under the the rule of uh, of Ket, uh, of the Ketites. Um, the the ruler of Basel, as soon as he signed the treaty, committed suicide. So they had to install a puppet ruler. Um, and around uh, 587, that puppet ruler was assassinated. Uh, we don't know by whom, but the Ketites uh, suspect Ayus. Um, and so there's this whole complicated dance of uh, of uh, Ayus originally encouraged Ket to invade, but then um, the the Ketites now suspect that he killed their 
ambassador because he wanted them to, to go further. Uh, you know, their their ruler, not ambassador, their ruler there, and um, and, and so forth. So you got that that kind of intrigue going. You've also got a religious thing going because during the occupation of Basel, the uh, Ketites have uh, sent in uh, their priests who are trying to convert the uh, uh, Basilites uh, to. Uh, more Bakalunish uh, deities, and you see this again as a parallel in um, in the Muslim conquest, uh, especially of Spain and 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 so forth. In, in this particular context, uh, of Spain and the, and the Balkans, where uh, in, when Muslims would conquer the lands, they would put a lot of pressure on the locals to uh, to convert, um, and uh, you, you know, so you're you're seeing a lot of that there, and eventually. Um, just as the Grand March uh, was massing troops on the border to try to liberate Cell, um, the Hittites uh, basically withdrew after a long and lengthy negotiation with Valuna and the Grand March and um, and, and so forth. All the all the neighbors uh, they they withdrew, and now you have this kind of uneasy peace because you have this kind of um, semi-independent Basel in the south. But the former capital capital of Thornward, uh, which is that town uh, you see right smack dab in the middle there, um, is uh, is kind of not a not a free city, but it's uh, under the joint administration of uh, a bunch of different uh, states: uh, Ket, Basel, Luna, the, the Knights of the Watch. You know, they all have a. a, a a hand in the administration of it. And that's where all of the caravans from the Baclunish West come into the Flaness. So it's enormously important and enormously rich place. And apparently all of the caravans, you know, you can, you can spend a week and a half just getting through the city, trying to bribe all the officials and get all the paperwork that you need uh, to get your wares into, into the Flaness. So, um, you know, so at the moment in uh, 591, which is a current year, um, you you have this situation in Basel where you've got this sort of um, most of Basel is is once again free of Ketite uh, uh, influence, well not influence but Ketite rule, uh, but you do have this sort of no man's land in the north, and um, you've still got the tensions between the Baclunish and the Easterners, the, the, the people you know the the Ridians and 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 so forth uh, in the east. Because um, you know they still resent the fact that Ket invaded Basel to begin with. So, you know it's a very tense um, kind of situation there. And I, I'm always a sucker for uh, situations where you could have a lot of political intrigue. I think political intrigue really, if you're not going to do dungeon crawling, um, political intrigue really gives you the the uh, the excuse you know, to have conflict because you can always, there's always a, some sort of plot going on. There's always some sort of this ambassadors doing this and, and so forth. So, uh, you know, so it's, it's a, it's an area ripe, uh, with uh, possibilities for adventuring. So anyway, hope you like this one. Um, and that's where uh, Basel set stands. Uh, you know, it's, it's sort of reset back to normal, but with a heightened sense of tension. Uh, so anyway, hope you like this one. Let me know what you think of the comments. Uh, do you, have you ever done a campaign in Basel? I'd love to hear about it. Uh, let me know and I will talk to you all later. Thanks for watching today's video. Please remember to hit the like button and subscribe to the channel. Below you'll find links to my Patreon which helps make these videos possible. You'll also find the web store where you can buy my books and my blog where you'll find all sorts of free downloads and other articles. Thanks and have a great day.